Today we are going to discuss a topic from orthodontics. Known as serial extraction. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel. Let's start from the definition of interceptive orthodontics. It is the phase of science and art of orthodontics employed to recognize and eliminate potential irregularities or malposition of the developing dentofacial complex. Now what is serial extraction? It is planned extraction of certain deciduous teeth later permanent teeth in orderly sequence and predetermined pattern to guide permanent teeth in more favorable position. The mnemonic for indication is serial straight profile class 1 where arch length deficiency compared to tooth material ectopic eruption of tooth localized gingival recession in lower anterior irregular upper and lower anterior absence of physiological space in primary teeth mainly anteriorly abnormal eruption pattern ankylosis of one or more teeth if the lateral incisure is in malposition or impacted mnemonic for contraindication is as follows soap mcd you can remember my mcdonald's space dentition open bite anodontia means complete absence of teeth oligodontia means absence of more than six teeth proximal stripping should be used as treatment option for mild arch length tooth material discrepancy compared to serial extraction midline diastema malformed tooth such as dilaceration extensive caries involving permanent first molar deep bite advantages of serial extraction are it is an physiological treatment which uses physiological forces for guiding teeth in normal position psychological trauma reduced due to treatment at early age duration of fixed appliance therapy is reduced or it is not required in some cases stable results due to arch length becomes equal to tooth material oral hygiene is increased health of investing tissue is increased retention period is significantly decreased disadvantages are as follows treatment duration is more for about two three years so patient cooperation is also required more clinical judgment is required because treatment approach is not same for all tongue thrust habit can develop overbite space can develop between canine and first premolar if not treated properly can worsen the situation by decreasing arch length leads to migration of tooth at the end of the procedure fixed appliance therapy is required to correct axial inclination of tooth diagnosis can be made by study model analysis such as arch perimeter analysis for upper arch carry analysis for lower arch orthopanomogram to check eruption status cephalogram for skeletal tissue assessment methods of serial extraction are day will method usually used in lower arch tweed and nance method can be used in either arch day wills method it is three-step method first is to extract deciduous canine at eight to nine years of age second step is to extract deciduous first molars after one year so that eruption of first premolar is accelerated then third step is to extract first premolars so that canines erupt in alignment in tweed's method firstly deciduous first molars are extracted at eight years of age we have to maintain deciduous canine to retard eruption of permanent canines second step is extraction of first premolar after four to ten months followed by extraction of deciduous canine so that canine and incisor are aligned properly nance method is as follows first step is extraction of deciduous first molars second step is to extract first premolar followed by extraction of deciduous canines so that permanent canines erupt in alignment that is all for today if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel comment below for any doubts thank you for watching